Hey foodies, in today's video you will see what I made for lunch. Let's quickly dive into the video. Keeping it simple, for today's lunch I prepared steamed rice along with kaleji fry. It is a very typical recipe, stay tuned for that. And a normal bharta which is made of tomato and onions. With this I served some papad, some curd and sliced mangoes. We regularly have steamed rice for lunch along with some veg side or a non-veg side dish. Hope you will like this video. Make sure to watch it till the end. So it is about 11.40 am and I am into my kitchen to start the cooking. So first I have heated a pan and added about 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil. This is the recipe for kaleji fry. I had already pressure cooked the ingredients for the bharata and kept it aside. It is a very typical and normal dish made at every home. Do let me know in the comments below if you want to know the complete recipe for a typical South Indian bharata. For the kaliji masala, I had added about 1 inch of cinnamon, 4 to 5 uh, peppercorns, a bay leaf and 2 big sliced onions. Saute them on a medium flame until they turn golden. I would like to share an important tip at this point is that many people have complained about kaliji turning into hard, hard rock like thing after it has been cooked. So I would like to tell you that definitely add salt at the end of your entire process of cooking. Like before you switch off the stove, just add the salt. If you add it now, it will definitely make your kaleji hard. See that the onions have turned brown. So next thing is to add the ginger garlic paste. About 1 teaspoon each. Mix it up well and saute it for the next few minutes or until the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste disappears. I store my ginger and garlic paste in separate boxes so it is easy for me to access at any time. Because most of the recipes require only ginger or only garlic so to avoid confusion and to avoid havoc in the kitchen I store them separately. Once the raw smell disappears, add in all the powdered spices like turmeric 1 half teaspoon, dhania powder 1 tablespoon, chilli powder 1 tablespoon, garam masala half teaspoon, zeera powder half teaspoon. Add about 1 fourth cup of water just to avoid the burning of the masalas. This water is just added to ensure that the masalas don't get burnt. Next step is to add in the tomatoes, which are chopped roughly. Give it a good mix and wait until the tomatoes sort turn soft and mushy. To speed up this process, reduce the flame and cover the pan with a lid. see that the tomatoes have turned soft and mushy so the next step is to add in the goat liver or kaleji which are cut into bite-sized pieces give this everything a good mix and cover and cook for the next five minutes on a slow flame see that the kaleji has left some water give it a good mix and uh, let it cook for the next 10 minutes on a high flame. Meanwhile, the kaliji has been cooking. Let's transfer this to another burner and make the tempering for the bharata. 
For the tempering, heat up a stainless steel thick bottomed pan and add about 2 tablespoon of oil. This is gingerly oil which is extremely good for your health. Once the oil heats up, add in mustard seeds, allow it to splutter, then add zeera, half teaspoon of urad dal, handful of curry leaves, one dry red chilli broken into three pieces, give it a good mix, make sure the flame is low, now add in about one fourth teaspoon of asafoetida, now here I have added uh, two types of onions one is the regular red onion which is available in India and the other is the sambar onion if you want you can add but it, it enhances the taste of the bharta a handful of them this entire process should be done only in a very slow flame allow the onions to get soft and mushy now add in the pressure cooked tomatoes onion garlic masala spices coriander leaves everything pressure cooked to adjust the consistency add about one glass of water to it and let it boil for the next five minutes it's been 10 minutes and the kaleji has been slow cooked in the next burner check for salt at this stage and add it if it is necessary let it boil now. Meanwhile, side by side, I had added the soaked rice to the rice cooker and it is almost done. In the next 5 to 10 minutes, our lunch will be ready. Meanwhile, this is boiling. Now, uh, let's check on the kaleji fry. One of the most difficult tasks is to adjust your lens and your camera and your tripod to the stove or the gas. You can see that our kaliji has been cooked well and it is just looking awesome and the bartha has been boiling. For the topping, just add a few coriander leaves chopped with the help of a scissor. I usually do this because it is much easier and let me show you that our lunch has been ready to be served. It is about 1.30 pm in the afternoon and uh, everything is done and dusted once the bharta cooks and uh, mingles everything together in it switch off the flame and cover with the lid Here is the important step to add in the salt once the kaleji has been cooked perfectly. Add in the salt, mix well and this is done. In this method, the kaleji will stay soft and moist. For the bharta, I prefer the gravy to be very thick and not watery. So I want the water to evaporate. So let it be on a high flame for the next 5 minutes. You can see that the water has evaporated completely. Now it's time to add in a handful of kasuri methi. It takes your non veg items to the next level. It is amazing and it enhances the taste from 
that's all now turn off the flame and your lunch is ready i always keep my steamed rice in a hot box and it stays hot for at least 3 to 4 hours our kaliji masala is definitely gonna taste really great and next our bharta it is a perfect gravy for the kaliji and steamed rice hope you like this type of content make sure to subscribe and press the bell notification for latest updates until then see you from azibas cuisine stay safe and stay home my family members enjoyed this lunch and hope you will try out these recipes don't forget to share them with your family and friends leave your valuable comments as i love to go through them It's time to sign out from here. Take care and stay safe.